We continue now at the top of Daf Lamin Amid Beis and Maseches Nazar. This is Nazar Daf Thirty B. And the previous summit, the Mishnah said that his son is able to use the money of his father to pay for the karbonos of his Nazirus, but a daughter cannot. And the Gemara said that is a halacha. Gemara said, why do you even need to say that is a halacha? You should simply say it's true because of the, the laws of Yerusha, because the laws of Yerusha are that a son inherits and a daughter does not. And the Gemara says, no, there, is, there are situations where a daughter inherits. Let's say there are only daughters, there are no sons. So in that case, you might have thought the daughter can use the money of her father for the karbonos of her Nazirus, and that's kamash malan halacha, that's why it says over here, that's why we said in the previous summit, it is a halacha, it's like halacha al Moshe Misinai, that this halacha applies only to the son and not to the daughter. And the Gemara continues, Iboy Luhu, they had the following question. Pligi Rabbonan Oled, Rabbi Yossi, O Lo Pligi, do the Rabbonan argue on Rabbi Yossi and our Mishnah or not? Vim Tim Salom, our Pligi, and if you're going to say the Rabbonan do argue, Aresha O Asefa, do they argue on the Resha of the Mishnah, the beginning of the Mishnah, or do they argue on the Sefa of the Mishnah? The Rosh over here explains, Iboy Luhu, Pligi Rabbonan Oled, Rabbi Yossi, Vim Tim Salom, our Pligi, Aresha, if you're going to say the Rabbonan argue, do they argue on the first part of the Mishnah, meaning, even in a situation where he and his father are Nazirim at the same time. So there the Mishnah said, according to the Rosh's Girsa, the Mishnah said that the son in that case is not able to use the money of his father. So they argue and say, maybe they argue and they say, no, in that case also he's able to shave using the money of his father. He can bring the Korbanos with the money of his father. Oh, I say for maybe they, maybe they argue on the end of the Mishnah. Even if he declared the Naziris after his father died, in which case, according to the Mishnah, he is able to use the money. But they say, the Rabbanan say, no, Eino Megaleach, he's not able to shave, he can't use the money of his father. The last halacha, they don't hold of this halacha. And the Gemara says, Tashma, come and hear a proof from the following Brisa. Ketzar Amru Ha'ish Megaleach Al Nazirus Aviv. How do they say that the son is able to shave on the Nazirus of his father? He can use the money from his father. Mishahaya Aviv Nazir Vhifresh Aviv Mos Lenaziruso. Let's say somebody's father was a Nazir and the father separates money for the Nazirus, but Mace and the father dies. Viomar Hareni Nazir Al Menas Shagaleach Al Mos Abba. And the person says, I'm a Nazir on the condition that I shave using the money of my father. Zehu Shemegaleach. If this is the case where the person does shave using the money of his father in this brisa, what was the seifa of the Mishnah is the resha of the brisa. Aval Misha Yehuve Aviv Nazirim, but in a case where he and his father were Nazirim at the same time, Vehivresh Aviv Mos Naziruso, and the father separates money for his Nazirus for Mason, he dies. Hare Elu Yiplu Linadava. That money you're not able to use. That money has to go Linadava. It's donated to the Beis Hamikdash for communal carbonos. Divrei Rabbiosi. That's the opinion of Rabbiosi. Again, the seifa of this brisa is actually the ratio of our Mishnah. And now Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Yehuda, Amr, Rabbi Eliezer, Rabbi Meir, Rabbi Yehuda, they say, Zehu shemegaleach al Mausavev. In this case, the person could shave using the money of his father, meaning they're going on the case that was just in the Brice at the Seifa, which really is the Rasha of our Mishnah. And the Gemara continues, Boy, Rabba, Rabba asks the following question. Yeshlo shnei bonim nazirim. Let's say a person has two sons who are nazirim. Mahu, what's the halacha? Hilchisa gemirin law called the kadim megaleach. Is it just a halacha that whoever's first, whoever's nazirus is first, he's the one that can use the money. He's the one that can shave using the money of his father. Oh, Dilmar, maybe Yerusha gemirin law. This is just a din of Yerusha. Upal gahavi, and he's just going to get half. In other words, by Yerusha, they split the inheritance. Here also, they would split the money in terms of using the money for their nazirus. And the Gemara continues, Boy, Rava, Rava asks the following question, Bechor, Upashit, my, let's say you have a situation where there are two sons and one is a Bechor, one is not a Bechor. What's the halacha? Hilchasa Gemirin law, this is a halacha learned by tradition. Vehilkach lo boy geluche lefumai deshakal, therefore he doesn't shave according to what he takes, according to the rules of inheritance. It doesn't follow inheritance. Oh, Dilmar, maybe Yerushi, this does, it is considered an inheritance. Vechihechi deshakal pishnaim, just like in terms of inheritance, the Bechor takes double portion. Hachi megale, the same in terms of the shaving, in terms of the amount of the money that he can use for his carbonus of Nazirus, he takes a double portion. Vim Tim Salom are Yerushi, and if you're going to say it is a Yerusha, and he shaves according to the portion that he inherits, maybe that's only true by Chulin, by the mundane that the person gets a double portion. But maybe when we're talking about Hektish, here we're talking about carbonus, maybe by Hektish he doesn't get the double portion. Odilmor, maybe Kevin de Kanile Legiluach, since he's a Acquiring it for the purpose of shaving, lo, lo shna, it makes no difference. 
And the Rosh understands that this Ve'imtim Salomar, if you're going to say that it applies to Chulin, does it also apply to Hekdish, is really just a continuation of the same question, what is the Halach in a situation where you have a Bechor and a non Bechor? And the Gemara continues, Aviv Nazir Olam, Vahu Nazir Stam, let's say the father is a permanent Nazir and he's a Stam Nazir, or Aviv Nazir Stam, Vahu Nazir Olam, let's say the other way around, his father's a regular Nazir and he's a permanent Nazir, my, what would be the Halach in that case? Ki Gemir and Hilchasa Bistam Nazirus, maybe this Halacha, that the son can use the money of the fathers only by Stam Nazirus, Odil Moloshna, or again, maybe it doesn't make a difference. Vim Tim Salomar, if you're going to say, Hacha Idi Vidi Nazirus Tahara, if you're going to say that in both of these situations, but maybe it's only true by Nazirus of purity. Boy Ravashi, but Ravashi asks, Aviv Nazir Tame, Vahu Nazir Tar, let's say his father is an impure Nazir and he's a pure Nazir. Aviv Nazir Tar, Vahu Nazir Tame, his father's pure and he's an impure Nazir. My, what would be the halach in that case? And the Gemara says, Take with the Gemara leaves that as a question. And Rashi explains, Vim Tim Salom if you're going to say over here in the case of a permanent Nazir and a Stam Nazirus, Kevin de Nazirus de Abu, Nazirus de Bron, Nazirus de Taharu, since they're both Nazirus of purity, Megaleach Haben al Nazirus Av. So then you'll say that the son is able to shave on the Nazirus of the father, but still, Boy Ravashi, Ravashi asks, Seicha Daviv Nazir Tame, Vuhu Nazir Tar, let's say the father is an impure Nazir and he's a pure Nazir, Maul Hosef al Most Sipor and Shehif Rishaviv, Lavi ben Karbanus. Can the son take the money that was going? to be used for the bird carbonus of the father for the impure Naziris, and he'll just add on to that money to bring his own carbonus. Same the other way around. Let's say the father's pure, he's impure. Can he use that money which his father separated for his pure Naziris? He wants to use it for his own impure Naziris to bring the bird carbonus. Take when the Gemara leaves that as a question. Hadron Alach Misha Omar. This is the conclusion of the fourth parak of Meseches Nazir. If you're enjoying the, these videos and this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. And please take a look at the description box below to see how you can support this channel. We will now begin the fifth parak of Meseches Nazir. The Mishnah says, Beis Shammai Omer and Beis Shammai say, Hektish tos, Hektish. If a person makes something Hektish, but it is there was a mistake involved in terms of the declaration of Hektish, that is still going to be Hektish. The Hektish will be Chal. We will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daflamid Aleph Amid Aleph.